Receiving the keys to the 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio coated in Verde Montreal Tricoat felt exceptionally significant compared to our previous experiences with Alfa's iconic sports sedan. It wasn't just about its impressive 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6 engine with 505 horsepower, or its enduringly attractive design qualities we've long appreciated since its introduction to the American market in 2015. This time, the experience was imbued with a deeper emotional resonance, akin to bidding farewell to an old friend. And indeed, that's precisely what it was. Our recent drive likely marked our final opportunity to commandeer a new Giulia Quadrifoglio in the US, with production ceasing at the Casino, Italy, factory this summer. While it saddens us to bid adieu to the Giulia, our latest encounter reaffirmed its prowess on both the track and the open road, despite its advancing age. Farewell, dear friend. Whether it was the striking color, the iconic four-leaf clover badge, or simply the knowledge of its impending departure, the Giulia Quadrifoglio garnered significant attention from Motor Trend staff when parked in our office lot. Numerous impromptu joy rides ensued, the reverberating roar of its exhaust echoing through the premises. Every occupant emerged from the cabin with a grin plastered across their face. One particularly enamored employee, whose spouse drives a non-QV Giulia, declared that he had found his partner's next car. While we're accustomed to sampling various sports sedans at Motor Trend, few have captured attention quite like this Giulia. The news of the Quadrifoglio bidding farewell to American shores left many stunned. A sentiment we're still grappling with ourselves. Alpha's Larry Dominique has strongly hinted at the return of the Quadrifoglio badge, albeit likely with some form of electrification, be it a plug-in hybrid or a full EV. However, the magnificent roar of the twin-turbo V, 6 and its progressive power delivery will soon become a relic of the past. Giulia Quadrifoglio. The Q stands for remarkable. The accolades begin the moment you engage the red push start button on the steering wheel and unleash the engine's fury. Approaching a stop sign with an expanse of open road ahead initiates the thrill. Press down on the throttle and the cabin resonates with a thunderous roar as your body is thrust against the seat back the engine's formidable 443 lbft of torque propelling the rear wheels. The 8-speed automatic transmission swiftly orchestrates shifts as the revs soar towards redline, delivering a relentless surge of power. In a straight line, the Giulia Quadrifoglio is nothing short of exhilarating. Accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and conquering the quarter mile in 12.2 seconds at 117.6 miles per hour places it in league with its predecessors. Breaking from 60 miles per hour to a standstill occurs within a mere 100 feet, a feat few cars can match. And few cars evoke the same level of joy as the Quadrifoglio. What an incredible engine, remarked Associate Road Test Editor Eric Iapana after numerous launches during our instrumented testing. The sounds, the power, it's all there. During our figure eight test, the Julia impressed with its steering precision and overall power delivery. However, road test editor Chris Walton encountered difficulties with the brake pedal feel, and the throttle response felt overly sensitive in race mode. Nonetheless, the Quadrifoglio completed the test admirably, clocking in at 24.1 seconds at 83 centimos, despite the Novocaine brake pedal. This remains a stellar sports sedan, he remarked. Across various driving conditions, the Quadrifoglio's steering remains precise, nimble, and pleasantly weighted. Despite its performance-oriented nature, the ride strikes a balance between sportiness and comfort, at times even softer than our long-term Volkswagen Golf GTI. Thrilling performance, compact design. While the Giulia Quadrifoglio excels in performance, we found some drawbacks in its packaging particularly its snug rear seating and limited trunk space. For example, our golf bag failed to fit in the trunk, necessitating the folding of the second row seats. Unlike most sedans with deep cargo pockets, the Julia features flat panels, which hinder the accommodation of longer items such as golf clubs. During one weekend excursion, we struggled to fit three golf bags and passengers, resulting in the need to rearrange clubs between bags. Furthermore, the legroom in the second row is insufficient for taller adults, with limited foot space due to a prominent hump. 
While Alfa Romeo prioritized the Giulia's driving dynamics, we wish more attention had been given to enhancing the comfort and practicality of the rear seating and cargo area. The Alfa Romeo's recognizable cabin. We recently had the opportunity to drive the 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Competizione RWD, the more mainstream variant of this sedan. Both the Competizione and the Quadrifoglio share an interior design for everyday comfort. The 8.8-inch touchscreen boasts decent graphics, yet navigating the infotainment system requires some familiarization with numerous settings tucked away in menus. Our preference leaned towards Apple CarPlay during our time. Although Android Auto is also available, albeit requiring a wired connection. We appreciate the 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and the meticulous attention to detail evident in Alpha's design ethos, reminiscent of classic Alphas. However, we felt the display could benefit from further optimization, with several areas remaining unutilized that could be enhanced with graphics or navigation features. In terms of interior disparities, there are few between the Quadrifoglio and less expensive Giulia variants. Notable variances include the presence of the four-leaf clover emblem solely on the steering wheel and a red push-start button, as opposed to black. Additionally, carbon fiber accents adorn the steering wheel and door panels, although both interiors otherwise remain largely identical. End of an era. The arrival of the 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio signifies the conclusion of an era for the Italian mark. While the Quadrifoglio nameplate may re-emerge, it's likely to grace an electrified model. Regardless of its driving dynamics, the shift towards electrification suggests a heavier vehicle devoid of the distinctive exhaust notes that define this Julia's character. One possible explanation for the Quadrifoglio's less-than-stellar sales performance, as perceived by Alpha executives, could be its price point. With a hefty price tag of $86,365 all-in, our test model proved to be quite expensive. Despite boasting suave Italian styling and impressive hardware, as the Quadrifoglio has aged, it has become increasingly challenging to justify its value against its competitors. Nevertheless, bidding farewell to it is bittersweet. While cars like the Giulia may fade from memory swiftly, the Quadrifoglio has etched an enduring impression on our automotive affections.